you would like to change the shutter settings, you go into config, the video settings, video parameters, and here are a lot of different things you can toggle, brightness, contrast, hue, etc. Uh, this I would just leave alone. The IR level lets you select how much infrared is actually being put out. You can try and toggle it to see if uh, you can reduce IR glare. That's really what this is for. And under the advanced section here, this uh, exposure time is what's really important. The default that the cameras really ship out with is 25 and auto. So it's pretty dark. The, the camera automatically senses um, what shutter rate is needed. But if you wanted to tweak it more, you can go to manual. And the higher the number in the denominator that you choose, the uh, darker the picture will become. So you're trying to capture faster plates. Generally, we find the auto setting to be perfectly fine. Hit save. And this is all you really need to do. The camera comes pre-configured. All you need to do again is enable the motion detection and uh, set the video coding parameter to be um, 4096 here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, lastly, if you want to connect the camera to one of our PoE and VRs, you need to configure the IP address to be 10.1.1. something. So this is for NVRs that have integrated PoE on the back. So in this case, I'm going to set my IP address to 10.1.1.88. The gateway should be 10.1.1 every time. This IP address number should be unique for every single camera you have. And the preferred DNS should be 10.1.1.1 and hit save. When you do this, you're no longer going to be able to see your camera on your network. You have to connect it to the NVR uh, as explained in one of our other articles.